You purchased the car on what date? 521 was the first transaction. May 21st. And you made the first payment on that date? Yes. yes. And the purchase price was $2,800? Yes. Ms. Herrera, when had you purchased the Beetle? In 2018. Who did you purchase it from? A nice older couple that I found That on only Craigslist. drove it to the Piggly Wiggly. It was yes. a very good car. It definitely was. Great. You were asking $2,800 for the car or more? I was offering it to a military family to bless them at $2,800. I didn't need all the editorializing. You wanted $2,800 for the car. Correct. They gave you a down payment of $1,000 and you allowed them to take the car. Correct. On the <laughs> premise... Speak not. When they gave you the $1,000, did you show them a title? I showed... Just, that's either a yes or a no. No. Did you showed them a title. Did you have the title? No. Did you tell them that you didn't have the title? No. Did you know where the title was? Misplaced in my house. So the answer is you didn't know where it was. Correct. When next did you communicate with them that you had located the title? June 5th, 2021. So between May 21st and the 5th of June, you did not advise them that you had the title? I did. You I, did? I told them that I was getting a copy of the title. But that you didn't have one? Correct. And you never found the original? Correct. On what date did they come to pay you the $1,800? June 5th. On June 5th? Correct. The same day that you Correct. told them that you had the title? Correct. Then there was a kerfuffle that I'll get to someplace else. Yes, she jumped on my just, car. Just a second. You didn't expect them to give you the $1,800 before they had a title. I expected them to pay according to our agreement. Listen to me. They would be morons mm -hmm. if they paid you the full value of the car. You didn't have to let them take the car. Let's start with that. But they have let, a bill just of sale. Just pay, pay careful attention. You didn't have to let them take the car with a deposit only. You could have said to them, I can't find the title to this car. I'll take your deposit, which means I won't sell it to anybody else. And then I'm gonna find the title. When I find the title, the car is yours. And I'll give you the title and we'll exchange the money. You could have done that. No sane person would pay you the full value of the car without seeing that you owned it. Do you understand that? I absolutely understand that. It's ridiculous. Nobody is going to give you the full value of a car when you don't have the title. So this is what happened. On the 5th, you notified them that you now had the title. You probably got a duplicate. Correct. They came by to give you the money, $1,800. Correct. And they had $1,800, and you said to them, because um, this is all from the papers, you said to them, I'm charging you an additional $280 because you didn't pay me on the day you were supposed to pay me. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and you think that that's okay. I'm, I'm just asking you if you think that that's okay. Yes, I it's do. It's ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Do you have the car? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Where's the title? I don't have it. I threw it out the window when she jumped on my car. No. Okay. No. Okay. I am going to create an order, and the order will direct the Department of Motor Vehicles because she signed an agreement to be bound by anything that I order today. Yes, so I'm going to sign an order to the Department of Motor Vehicles that instructs them to issue a new title in your name because the car has been fully paid for as a result of this arbitration. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand? Yes, yes ma'am. Is the car running okay? Yes. Great. They're driving it without insurance. I have a letter from the DMV. That would be your problem. We're not Then you should it. have... Then today is September then you should have gotten another title and given it to them so that they could get insurance. They I gave them the quiet, bill of sale. Quiet. Mm -hmm. They need the title. I could write a bill of sale up. <laughs> Doink. First of all, let's start with the fact that you had no right to withhold the title to the car from them for $280 that you tacked on in addition to the $2,800 because they didn't pay you in full for a car which you could not provide a clear title to. Do you understand? I understand. Now, what happened was that they came to your house with the money, said you can't have it unless you pay me an additional 280. There was some sort of a kerfuffle, and it is your claim that your car was damaged because Mrs. Cole jumped on your car as you were trying to flee the situation in your car, causing damage to your car. That's what your counterclaim is. My counterclaim is for the emotional um, PTSD trigger and for that. Yes, that's what a, you just said. Uh, Stephanie, yes. what do you do for a living? I own my own business. You're not a psychiatrist, are you? No. You're not a psychologist, are you? No. No. Okay. 
You're suing for the damage to your car. I'm not making a leap between the damage to your car and triggering some emotional response without she a psychiatric car. without a psychiatric witness. I don't have photos of the damage to the car. Well, if you're suing for damage to the car, you have to have photographs of hot water just a on second it to get the dent out. Well, then the dent is out. Yes. Fine. Then you have no case. You have no counterclaim. I do. No, you don't. You have no counterclaim here that I'm going to find is valid. I need damage. Okay, so now you had all the money that you asked for the car and you weren't giving them the title. And in the heat of the moment, she jumped on your car, which she absolutely shouldn't do. And if there was damage to the car, I would absolutely award you on the counterclaim whatever it cost you to fix the damage to the car. All right. I will prepare the order directing Department of Motor Vehicles to put the car in your name. Your counterclaim is dismissed. We're finished. Thank you very much.